Hello all, right, one of the Paul Wilkins. I said I'd do this one on Sunday and a um, bit of a complicated one. It's one of those ones where I, I'll sort of, I, I, I'm going to some advice on this one chaps and ladies of course, obviously. Um, right, he said it was uh, Father's Day and he said I turned up and the job was picking up at five o'clock in the morning and it was 160 miles and he said I've quoted him 180 quid for the job. So, you know, big fan, that kind of thing. Uh, he said I'll get there. Uh, he's supposed to be picking up at five o'clock in the morning. The bloke turns around, he says, it's not ready yet. It's not gonna be ready for about another four hours. So it's like five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he said, I only around the corner. So I've gone home, come back, still nothing. And then he said, the job might not be ready till 12 o'clock. Right, okay, fine. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll sort of put that one in the old then. Uh, he said, then finally, the job might not be ready till eight, five o'clock. So he's picking up at five o'clock and then delivering the next morning, so storing overnight now. He said, I presume I presume the first thing was a hot shot, take it straight there. So now it's collecting, storing overnight, deliver the next day. He says, it finally got loaded at eight o'clock. He said, I've absolutely no idea how to price this. Because, I mean, I don't know, it's kind of, I don't know how many times you went backwards and forwards and all that. Um, he said, I finally priced the job. He said, I charged him £75 for the messing about on Father's Day. And then he said, rather than charge him £180 for the job, I charged him £195, um, £15 extra storing overnight. He said, is this right? I think in situations like this, <laughs> I don't think anybody knows. And there's no right or wrong answer. It strikes me that if it was Father's Day and you had to go in and out a few times, that means, you know, whether you want to be sitting at home with your family on Father's Day, maybe having a drink, you can't have a drink because you're in and out all the time, you might not, might not have a drink. But still, to put your whole day on the hold for Father's Day um, and then store overnight and then drop it the next day and you charge them an extra 75, 80, 90 quid, I think they've kind of had a result. Having said that, it depends how much money they've got on the job. I think the best thing to do in a situation like this is probably the A's with the shipper. I go, well, you know, he's your customer. How much is he going to tolerate? You want me to keep going backwards and forwards? I mean, I can cancel it. You can try and find another van that's going to pick up at 8 o'clock on a Sunday night. But I'll be honest with you, my friend, I don't think there's any right or wrong answers out there. So I'm going to throw that one out there too, once again, those guys out there that have got far more experience than me. And um, you let me know what you think. I think what he done was about right, maybe it's edging on the cheap side. And we all know this, that the CX is kind of the wholesale platform, so it's not like you can really bung at the price that you should pretty really bung them on these kind of jobs. But I think I would personally have gone for, well, say, so, well, you know, I've been an out all day on Sunday. I don't know, give me a day standby rate. And um, yeah, and then maybe a bit more storage overnight. I mean, proper money, you charge them 60 quid. But um, it's whether they'll pay it or not. I think that one is going to be a grey area and it probably will always remain a grey area. But I'm shoving it out now. So you guys, throw me some comments on the feedback and I'll cover whatever you guys say on Sunday. Once again, bowing to the superior knowledge from the people out there that know better than me. In the meantime, two deliveries this morning. One to, um, where have I been? Acton. Or well, Hackton, as it said on the paperwork, delivered to Hackton. Didn't actually have anything else other than Hackton. Not even a place. And I'm currently in Ringwood, which is an industrial estate in uh, down near Bournemouth. And at the moment, there is nothing. <laughs> it's now uh, 20 past 11. So, um, hoping something comes out soon. In the meantime, comments will be gratefully received. And take care, take money.